one thing that's been on my mind is having a vision, having a mission is truly important. Whenever it comes to anything in life, I truly recommend everyone to have a vision and a mission. A vision is something that you want to accomplish in the next 5 to 10 years or even the next 25 years. A mission is like, what do you want to be able to accomplish in your time period on this planet? Right? There's so many things that you can be doing. There's so many missions you could have. You could have, even have side quests to your missions. And it's super beautiful because the thing is, like a lot of people these days, they overthink. They feel like, you know, life just sucks. Life is... You know, it just it just sucks because you're struggling, you're facing these hurdles, you're facing these challenges. And I still feel that till this day, man. Like even though I'm making 3K per month right now and it's going up, like I'm pacing towards 4K, 5K, like I know I can make these amounts each month. It still sucks because I'm not where I'm at right now. I'm not where I want to be, I meant to say. And I feel like a lot of people need to realize like that's a part of life. You have to go through the struggles. You have to go through these hurdles. You have to be able to take the responsibility of grinding and putting in the work because the reality is the only way to make progress is to put in the work. If you delay the hard work, it's always gonna be difficult. It's always gonna be there. It's always gonna be nagging you in the back of your mind saying, hey, like you haven't done this. Hey, or you're a loser. Hey, you're gonna be a failure. That's the reality. You have to be able to understand like when you have a vision, you can remind yourself when these times are tough, when these times feel like you feel like giving up and not doing anything with your life or even potentially taking your own life. You got to realize like, hey, I have a vision. I'm working towards something. I have this mission that I'm working towards. I want to change the people around me. I want to bless the people around me. There's so many things that come into these factors where like, hey, if you are struggling, remember you have a vision, remember you have the mission. And a great book for anyone is start with why. What is your why? Why pushes you every single day? What makes you wake up every single morning to put in the work, to be able to show up on time at your job or be able to show up on time to your meetings or whatever the case is. Figuring out these things are super important. Trust me on that. I struggled with figuring out my mission. I struggled with fi figuring out like my real vision. I struggled with my why. And the thing is, it's going to be changing throughout the times, throughout the years, throughout the decades. And that's perfectly okay because your beliefs change over time, guys. Your beliefs are not supposed to be the same every single year, every five to ten years. Remember that. It's okay to change up your beliefs. Another book is like if you want to be able to change your thought patterns, your behavior patterns, the way how you think, act, the way how you speak, check out the book Psycho Cybernetics. It's all about self image. And I want you guys to realize like these books are golden. These books are gems. These books are going to ultimately change your life forever. And if you're struggling with the vision, create a vision board. Create a vision board for the next three months, so which right now we're in Q4. We have three more months. What do you want to accomplish by the end of this year? And then when December rolls around, create that vision board for that next year so you can actually accomplish the goals that you want to accomplish. Like, What do you want to have by the end of this year and next year? For me specifically, I want to be able to buy back my time, buy back my family's time, like my parents' time. I want to be able to provide for my family. I want to be able to start a family in the future. I want to be able to move into a new place, like a small studio or something like that. I want to experience these new things. And right now I'm in the process of, process of just grinding, grinding, constantly putting the work. And it sucks because sometimes I feel like I can't look around, experience the beauty of the present moment because I'm constantly working. My mind is constantly on work mode. And I'm okay with that. I'm extremely grateful because like before, like two months ago, I was praying for this opportunity. I wanted this opportunity that I currently have. I like back then, I was like, damn, I would do anything to be able to be in an opportunity where I'm making money online. And now I'm making money online and I'm extremely grateful. It's tough. I feel like quitting, but I'm always remembering my vision. I'm always remembering my mission. There's always going to be side quests in my life. And I want you guys to understand 
build out a circle of a good circle of friends people who generally have the same mission or vision as you who let's just say if you want to have financial freedom in the next 20 to 30 years who are you hanging out with are you hanging out with bums who play video games who constantly drink who constantly parties or whatever the case is there's nothing wrong with that but the reality is like if you want to become someone who buys back their time has financial freedom can support the people around them then you can't be hanging out with those people majority of the times or literally 90 percent of the times right because that's not going to ultimately get you to where you want to go remember this if there's five bums you're going to be the sixth bum in the group but if there's five millionaires you're going to be the sixth millionaire it's bound to happen as soon as you understand that you will start to realize dang i need to change up my group i need to change up my circle of friends and you want to be able to surround yourself with the right circle of friends right for me specifically i'm still figuring out who can i surround myself with i have a mentor i'm extremely grateful for that i'm constantly networking online i'm constantly putting myself in positions where i can be able to learn more be able to earn more be able to have new connections and i'm grateful for all of that being humble being grateful is also going to teach you so many things in life because it puts you in a perspective in a positive state of mind which makes you understand that hey life is super beautiful it doesn't matter if there's challenges it doesn't matter if you know there's struggles I'm in a position where I can change my reality. You are in a position to change your reality. You're the only one who could change your reality. So if when life is not treating you well, remember your mission, remember your vision, be grateful for everything, and just remember to take it easy and everything will be fine.